get the fuck in. That is an absolutely huge, huge three points. Manchester is a beautiful shade of blue tonight. I am absolutely ecstatic. That was a masterclass in the dark arts towards the end of that second half. And we are now 11 points clear of Manchester United, 14 points clear of Chelsea, 16 ahead of Liverpool, 17 ahead of Arsenal, 18 ahead of Spurs. Mind the gap is absolutely huge. We are a massive club and that is a massive gap. Um, we're running away with the league. We've now broken the consecutive win record in the Premier League where we've tied it with Arsenal for 14 wins in a row. And we're still unbeaten. We are still pulling away and it feels special. It wasn't a beautiful game. It was niggly. It turned into a bit of a battle in the second half. But we've shown that we can go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bunch of giants, a bunch of destroyers who were hoofing the ball from the kickoff, and we can outfight them. We can outbattle them. And this is absolutely crucial for our mentality. All the challenges that United threw us. And in general, we didn't have very much to defend, really, apart from a few long balls. A big shout out for Edison for that absolutely wonderful double save from Lukaku, smacking the ball straight out of his face and then up quicker than anyone could possibly have imagined to save the second shot. And Mangala, a Mangala masterclass at Old Trafford. Uh, the big win pocketed uh, United's forwards in the second half. He was fantastic. I absolutely shit myself when he came on. I think most of us did, but he was brilliant. He kept it simple. He was powerful, decisive, strong, and a big game from a very big man. I mean, even the quality of the goals, they weren't special. They were pretty awful. They were genuinely scruffy goals. United's goal was scruffy. Our two goals were scruffy, but I don't care. All I know is that what we've done today to go to Old Trafford, and in general, kind of stroll it, really. That isn't easy. We were, in my opinion, a level above them. They can't get close to that kind of level of control that we asserted in the first half. 70 plus percent possession at Old Trafford against Manchester United, a team of that quality. That is something that not many teams can do. And you can see what it meant to the players and full-time uh, on the pitch they are ecstatic they know that this now more than anything could be the game that's actually won as the league that is 11 points that means United are going to have to win four games more than we do and then we lose to actually get back at us I can't see us losing four games at United are losing less than uh, four more than us I can't see that I'm sorry I can't see that for the rest of the season surely now uh, the pressure is on United not to slip up again at any point look at what the likes of Chelsea Arsenal Liverpool Spurs they're so far behind now they can't keep up and it's like constant pressure in the back of their minds not to lose points which grinds them down United now yeah they're well behind us and they'll play on their minds at every game that another draw or another loss we'll see him 13 14 12 points or whatever behind us it's massive it's absolutely huge I said the word massive about 10 times now showing my Man City but roots there I thought David Silva was an air of composure, a beautiful bald-headed beacon of uh, maturity and professionalism, silkiness as ever. I don't think we were that great going forward. The first half, we were much better than the second half, put it that way. But we still had vastly more chances than they did. We still should have killed them off several times, but we were just sloppy going forward. Maybe the nerves of the game got to us a little bit. Maybe we still haven't shaken off that rust that's been following us around uh, for most of this month, most of the last month as well. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Once again, we've done just enough to grind out the result in a huge game at Old Trafford. It just feels absolutely magnificent. I've been shaking throughout that game. I've been so anxious. When at half time as well, when company went off, which doesn't look good once again, a man get injured constantly. I mean, I presume it's an injury. Gundo had a midfield and Fernandinho in defence. It was a strange change to make if you didn't have to make it. But at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. Fernandinho, as ever, was absolutely excellent. A rock composed and considered. And United's chances only really, apart from that uh, Lukaku shot, came from mistakes that we let them have the ball when they counter attack. Delph, it got to him the occasion. We got to consider the fact that Fabian Delph, as much as we love him, he's not played in that many huge games, really, has he? He barely played for City, and in general, I think this is a little bit bigger than the Midlands derby for Villa, or even when he played for Leeds. I mean, this is in general a huge game for him, probably the biggest game he's been involved in, the game with the most weight. So it's probably understandable that he had a slightly poor goal, a pretty poor game in general. Walker as well, I think he flapped a little bit, gave the ball away a few times, and once again, I know he's playing for some big games for Spurs, but not ones that had that much weight on potentially winning the league maybe maybe I'm wrong there but either way it did get to him a little bit I thought in general he probably made the right choice going with Jesus he wasn't perfect but he held the ball up pretty well but it's absolutely arbitrary now it doesn't matter who he chose why he chose him all that matters is that we are 11 points clear 11 E-L-E-V-E -E, 11 points clear it's a huge game it's a huge win I am delighted you're probably delighted if you're watching this apart from the few United fans who watch this sorry guys 
not not sorry in the slightest. It's huge. It's absolutely massive. We've probably just basically guaranteed as a league now. It's a long, long way to go. But don't get me wrong. I'm aware of how important that result is for us. Guys, let me know in the comments your mind on the match. I'm going for David Silva. I don't care that we keep winning 2-1. I mean, that's four, is that four or five wins in a row now, 2-1. We just keep doing it. Just look at that table. Just look at it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Guys, I'm happy. See you later, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Actually, before I go, though, P.S., a word for Lukaku. Two assists today. What a performance he had. Absolutely brilliant there for, from the 90... I can't even say it with a straight face. For the 90 million pound striker. See you later, guys.